back to the crafting room. My name is Dee and thanks so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I love to open all sorts of toys here on my channel, do some crafts of course, and even some mystery fun uh, out of the box type of stuff. And if that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you do not miss any of the future fun videos. <clears throat> Sorry, I still am recovering from my illness, so <laughs> you're going to hear a little bit of throat clearing and perhaps a little coughing. I'm trying to keep it to a minimum. I took a cough drop. I'm crossing my fingers and we'll get through this, but I really so wanted to get uh, out another video to you guys uh, and I really miss doing it. So. Here we are together again and as you can see I have a mixed little bunch of toys here for us to open. I have uh, the Toy Mini Brand Series 2 Capsule 5 Surprise Ball. I have two of the Scruffalove's uh, Adoption Babies Mystery Little Plushies and I have, uh, uh, it's like five kind of spoofy, fun, um, punny, uh, wacky packages, grocery style items that I have opened. Uh, all of these actually on my channel before. So if you're interested in that, check out my playlist of surprise toy openings. You will find them there. Or if not there, then check out my fun and fast videos of opening toys in a fun and fast manner. So let's start with the wacky packages. Since I do have my hand, we will put these two to the side along with our mini brands capsule and let's see what's inside so <clears throat> the first one excuse me we do see the first of the five products in on the through the top of the cellophane here as you can see um and then there's four mystery ones so let's just open that up let's see if i can flip up a side here oh yeah that was easy so the first one we get here is this baking soda by, by Harm and Hammer. Okay, that is pretty funny. And again, I forgot to wear my glasses so I could see the small print, but here we go. Um, I'm trying to hold it so I can see it and also show you guys. Uh, it says, sweetens your smells. Great for refrigerators, bathrooms, and locker rooms. Okay, uh, Harm and Hammer. So basically, you have this muscular kind of looking guy there. He has a barbell in his hand. And that is supposed to be a spoof, of course, of Arm and Hammer. <laughs> but instead we get Harm and Hammer. So that's kind of silly. We'll put that on our display. And now we also get a sticker in here. Like a punny kind of sticker of one of their products. And this one is Heavy Trash Bags 10 uh ruptures 10 ruptures is that what it says yeah 10 ruptures holds 80 pounds of garbage wow and it shows some buddy <laughs> can you see that that's a lot of garbage they're hauling here but it looks like it's falling out on him so that's not very good at all these don't look very good but it is funny and that is the point of this product all right so that's the plastic that was holding our sticker nice and neat and then we have our checklist and I'll show you real quick. I won't go through it too much because we are just opening the one today. But they do come with a really big checklist of all the products. And this is uh, series three. So you can see we have lots. Oh, look at the rares. There's a Dr. Pepper. But the rares are sparkle, um, like the plastic is sparkly. And I have one of the rares. So if you're interested in seeing which one I have, go back and <laughs> do those playlists and take a look at uh, my previous opening of Wacky Packages. And we have more on this side. And then you'll see which one I did get. <clears throat> and we have some more really rare ones over here. These ones are, oh, what does it say? The black, they're black, wow. Okay, well that's interesting. I guess the plastic is black somehow. I don't know, I have not, I don't remember seeing that in the last one. Interesting, but uh, We'll put that to the side. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to get one of those black, really rare ones. Okay, so these are the four blind bags of our other four products. This is a checklist, not really a checklist, this is basically just an advertising pamphlet of all the really amazing things that this company 
different makes. It's like world's smallest toys and all sorts of really cool things. I really recommend you look into it if that is something that seems interesting to you. There's just so many to go through, but it is really, 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 really cool, all the stuff there. So lots and lots of things to collect. Okay, so let's move these three to the side and we'll open this one. Oh, I can actually open it. And let's see what we have. Oh, we have dampers. Sure to, oh, let's see, let me get my magnifying glass. Sure to rust your hampers. Oh, oh, of course a hamper is like a laundry hamper and because they're damp, they will create rust if you have a metal hamper. That is silly. <laughs> oh look, they even have like a, and they have a, oh, I don't know even what that's called, but basically an opening, one of those flip openings uh, that you would then push down and put into like a little uh, slot to keep the package from opening and once you've opened it the first time. And it actually is raised. That's kind of cool. Cool. Okay, so we'll put dampers over by our Harm and Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> Harm and Hammer. I can't believe I did that. Actually, I can't believe I did that. That's me. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. This virus is no joke. But we're pushing on. Okay. And our next one is, ooh, Hippie Trash Bags. Okay, so I think this one's familiar to me. So we have another bag, trash bag one. It says 10 times more um, garbage on the floor than in the bag. <laughs> That's funny. So another one that isn't good uh, garbage wise. And you can see, I think it's supposed to be like from like making fun of hefty and dampers is supposed to be, I think of course, like uh, making uh, a bit of a pun over Pampers, the popular brand. And you can tell that they don't really have a lot of detail on all the sides like you see on mini brands and things like that. But these only cost about $4.97 Canadian for five of them. While mini brands, they will like a capsule like even like this and that usually is between 12 and 15 dollars so you know it's still like a very good deal you, you kind of are paying for the punny kind of spoofy version of the bigger name brand okay let's see i'm gonna use my scissors for this one and let's see what we have this is our second last one Ooh, brittle soap pads <laughs> instead of instead of brillo so pads removes grease, grime, and skin. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> Brittle. Wow, that is no good. You do not want to be removing skin when you're cleaning. Just the bad stuff. All right. Well, this is our last one. Series three wacky packages by the company. Let's see what company is this again? By World Smallest. It says on there. Uh, Super Impulse, right? Super Impulse is the company, and they do world's smallest toys and things like that. Okay, last one. Whoops! Ah, what do we have? <gasps> Ooh, Wind Axe instead of Windex. <laughs> this is gonna be good, I guess. Window breaker, break glass to remove axe. Ah, oh, that's silly, but of course. <laughs> I have to laugh at that, you know, so apparently I guess there's an axe in there and if you need a window broken, you know, you just break open the bottle and there it is. So it's a squeezy looking bottle. It looks almost like a dish soap bottle um, instead of like your spray bottle for like Windex. Windex. Now I'm seeing Windex. Oh my goodness, it's messed me up. Um, and it is cute. It's a uh, nice hard plastic. The other ones actually I should say, like these are cardboard, but they are definitely like they have something hard on the inside to keep it from collapsing. Just like this one here, let's see, display those. Yeah, because these four are the kind of cardboard on the outside, whoops, with the, the product, like a plastic or something on the inside, hard to keep it from collapsing. Of course, this is just a plastic bottle with something inside to, to keep it from collapsing. So very interesting. And I'll put those in the display case. And I will be right back and we will open up our mini brands. Okay. 
I knew I was gonna have a coughing fit there at the end of opening that wacky package uh, packaging and uh, that's why I kind of cut off short so I apologize for that and let's hope I can get through the next toys without a coughing fit. Um, so this is toy mini brands so they're little mini toy versions of well mini versions of toys <laughs> that we can see in stores or get uh, elsewhere and it is series two and let's get into it. I kind of pre-scored the opening of these just to help me out a little bit because I don't have luck opening them. I don't know what it is. I just don't do well with these little zipper pull tabs. So we'll just avoid all that hassle and we'll just get straight into it. And I did open a little bit here too. There we go. Okay, so let's pull this little stopper type plastic rubbery more like rubber tab and let's do the drop there we go so we have two larger sections or wedges that are pink and three smaller white ones and we'll start with our smaller white ones <clears throat> excuse me and what do we have oh no <laughs> Oh my god, it really works. Look at this, it's a fidget spinner. And it's kind of like a rose gold, like a painted rose gold. It is plasticky feeling. But look, I didn't think it would work. Oh, maybe it might not work so good, but it does spin. So that's kind of fun. Oh, I wish it worked better, but that's still pretty cool. Awesome. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Oh, it kind of goes. I'm not mad at that. That's cool. I like that. We'll put that on the display case. Very nice. Good start. And let's see what's in our second wedge. Ooh. Okay, we have a fingerling. And it is a little penguin. Look at that. And he's really in there. Look at that. 3D. He's not even like a flat back or anything like that. Oh, and he has like a little surfboard. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Let me see if I can read that. What's on it? Magic motion sensor. His name is Tux, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it shows you other characters that you can get, I guess. Oh no, no. This just shows more pictures of him and what you can do with him. That's cool. I like that. I really like the fact that there's a little figure inside with a little surfboard accessory. Very nice, so far so good. Come on, toy mini brands. I love these. All right, third one. Ooh, what is this? <clears throat> this is my little pony, but it's gold. What the heck? I'm looking with my Mac, Applejack. Now, I've never been big on My Little Ponies as like growing up or anything like that, but I find them cute, don't get me wrong, and I know they have key marks and things like that. They're adorable, but I just never really got into them, and it wasn't really any particular reason why. Oh, cute, but look at that. I wonder if he's special, if he's gold. Wow. Can't wait to get the checklist so I can take a look. Look at that, guys. Beautiful little golden pony in there. Golden Applejack, very nice. Well, we should probably get a checklist in one of these larger wedges. So maybe, let's see. Nope, not this one. Ooh, <laughs> we have the Atomic Neato. Squeeze Neato. <coughs> Excuse me, oh, I'm all over the place. Then you can feel there's something, obviously a little thing in there. I don't know what Neato is, but that's cool. And then you can open it. No way. <gasps> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna take it out. Oh my gosh. Hello there. So it's like this little ball. What is Neato? I'm gonna have to check that out. I feel like I've seen this before. But the packaging is really cool. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a little squeeze stress toy or something. Of course, this is hard, so it's not doing that. If that was the purpose of the actual, or you know, real neato thing, but that is cute. I like that. Very fun colors, and I love the fact that you can take out what's inside. 
Okay, last wedge. Let's see what we have here. Done really well so far. And we have a ninja turtle. Oh, that's so cool. My brother-in-law loves, loves, loves Ninja Turtles. He's quite a bit younger than my husband and I. So I remember watching him watch the cartoons and everything like that. Oh, that's so cool. This is, it says extra large. Now the red bandana one. Oh my gosh. You're all gonna get mad at me, all you Ninja Turtle lovers. Which one is that? Is he Michelangelo, the red bandana? <gasps> Which one is he? It says Nickelodeon on it. Oh, I can't make it out. Um, I think it's R Raphael. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> Anyways, very cute. Let's see, can you take him out? Oh my gosh, get out of town. We can take him out. <coughs> Excuse me. Can he come out? Or is he stuck in there? <laughs> I'm trying to get him out. Oh, I think he's in there. I don't want to break him or ruin the box or anything like that, but that is cool. Very cute. Love that. Might have to give that to my brother-in-law. But there is the checklist in here, and I'm really anxious to see if that golden little pony, my little pony, <coughs> excuse me, is a rare. I'm guessing it has to be special to some degree of course so now we have our checklist in a receipt style which is fun and I'm gonna go take a quick look at this because I know it takes me time to find out these things let me just see I'll do a real quick one with you guys but if I can't find it fast I'm going to have to stop and then come back now here are the gold ones and I don't see in my little pony Hmm. All right, give me a minute and I'll be right back with uh, what I find. Okay guys, I found it. There it is right there under the gold. I, it was hard to see, I don't know why, but it didn't look like what I was uh, looking at here in front of me. But there it is, yeah. So it's just under the gold category. It doesn't say anything else about it, but obviously it is some sort of special one. And that's really cool to get. I am so happy about that. Very cool, very happy. These are so fun. But now, <clears throat> we have our scruff -a loves Now, scruff -a love babies, <laughs> scruff -a loves no, not scruff -a loves scruff -a love babies. And basically these are like little plushes, little animals that are a mystery. You don't know which one you're gonna get, of course, because you can see we just have like a little pet carrier looking uh, package here. And it is a little doll that you can uh, basically you're adopting this little pet and uh, oh there's the opening right there silly me and of course it's fun having the mystery of not knowing which pet you're gonna get but you're also there's some sort of like you have to take care of it like usually you have to brush out some rough uh, mats or something like that in this one there are bigger ones too which require more like I think there's one that you actually have to wash like in a bath before you can reveal what animal it is. It's pretty wild. So <clears throat> this is our packaging that we're gonna get open here. And I think what you have to do, yes, if I remember correctly, is you take this pull tab or pull string and you go like this. And of course that pulls the rest of this packaging. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna get? <clears throat> Oh, look, it tells you here. That's right, instructions on how to do it. So you go, you release, which what we is what we just did. Reveal, which we just will in a moment. <clears throat> and then you groom it. Yeah, and then you love it. Oh, that's so cute. I forget how much these were. I think they were like around uh, $10 Canadian. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness, pulled the right ending. Remember it came right out like that? Oh, who are you? Oh my goodness, and there's their brush. I don't know, oh, yeah, you have to cut the brush away. Be very careful. Oh my goodness, who do we have? Are you a little unicorn? <gasps> and the fur feels a little matted. So all I have to do is just brush. <laughs> it takes a minute, but it's so soft. Oh, what are you? 
I don't want to brush your eyes, but you can see like there's this soft baby blue. Oh, and there's the tail, and it's like this beautiful pale pink, like a pastel pink and blue. Lovely. Oh, so cute. We'll give it a quick brush. Kind of bring it to life again a little bit better. Come on, buddy. How are ya? <clears throat> so you're taking care of your pet. He's a little TLC, a little, and he gets some, <coughs> excuse me, little fur bits coming out, but that's normal. It actually happens in real life. I've had many dogs and many cats in the past too, so shedding is just common, but I don't know, like, are you, huh, what animal are you? Does it say? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. We're going to have to check a checklist, I think. But it's so cute. I want to say unicorn. What do you think? But there is no unicorn horn, so no, it can't be. Huh. Very cute. I don't know. Let's take a peek and see what we can figure, figure out. Okay, move you to the side. I'm just going to take my paper towel and get some of that scruffy grit off. Oh, this is your adoption paper. Right, so you could put your name and oh, your name and then name your pet and sign it to make it official, the adoption. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, oh, there it is. It's a pony. So there you go. Our little guy is right there. He has his pony and yeah. Okay, so it's just a regular pony, not anything, you know, mystical and it's, well, obviously, you don't usually see these colored ponies in real life, but you know what I mean. Usually you're just used, I'm just used to seeing lots of unicorns out there. So it's nice to have a little pony and so soft. Oh my goodness. Now, obviously, whoops, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll have to really give it a really thorough brushing to bring out its true glory. And I will try to put a picture up in the corner if, uh, a little later I'll brush keep brushing it and show you what it looks like when it's brushed to my fullest ability and yeah very cute well, welcome little pony <coughs> excuse me if you want to name the pony just put a name down in the comments down below I'd love to know what you would think of a name for our beautiful pony now here we go we have one more this is our last opening our last scrub of love baby. And let's see who we get in this one. We'll pull. Oh, well, that was fast. Everything came out. Oh my goodness, are you a cat? Oh my goodness. Okay, this one's really matted. Take the brush away. Oh, look at you. Okay, before I brush. And, uh, oh, no, yeah. It is on the back of the adoption paper. This is, hmm, this is such a, oh, there are, oh, wait. I forgot they have like a common, unusual, rare, or ultra rare, and our pony is a common. But this one has lots of colors on it, and it seems to be like it is probably one of the rares. <clears throat> Is this a fawn? I don't know. Or a kangaroo. I'm going to have to just brush it out some. See if I can do that and see better which little animal we have in our hands here. But so beautiful. Such a beautiful color. Like a combination. It has like blues and greens and yellows and purples oranges oh my goodness hello there what are you okay brush 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 it's kind of fun to do the brushing because it shows children that you know to take care of pets is definitely part of having a pet you know the responsibility that comes with pets is like brushing is definitely one of them if you have a longer-haired animal. <clears throat> Ooh, 
It does have a powder that seems to be what's keeping it matte, so it gets all over the place. So make sure you're doing it over some sort of protective surface that you can wipe down after. Okay, so I think, oh my goodness, which one are you? <clears throat> hmm. I'm trying to think. It's, it's not another pony, is it? Or is it, it's not a puppy. Or is it a kangaroo? No. <clears throat> an al alpaca! That's what it reminds me of. Yes, it's an alpaca face. Look at that. I'm gonna have to say that that's an alpaca. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh. I love llamas and alpacas. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. Again, I will brush out this fella a little bit more and put a picture up in the corner to show you what he looks like in more of a full glory of grooming glory. <laughs> and yeah. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys down and we're gonna take a, a better look at everything that we opened today. One moment, be right back. Okay, and here's everything that we unboxed together today. We have on the lower shelf here, our mini brand toys, the fidget spinner, our little fingerling, and our awesome gold My Little Pony special one. We have the Atomic Nido. I'm gonna move it here, like so. There you go. And we have our cool little Raphael Ninja Turtle, and I hope it is Raphael. If I'm wrong, I apologize. And above that, we have the wacky packages. We have the Herman Hammer, dampers, brittle, trash bags by oh sorry hippie trash bags and we have wind axe and we have the fun sticker of the heavy trash bags so trash bags was definitely a bit of a theme for this little packaging and then we have our awesome little adorable scruffle loves pets that we have adopted today and we need to get names for so put your thoughts for names down below and let me know i'd love to know your opinions and then uh maybe we'll pick one so we have our pony to the right here. It's our beautiful little baby blue and pink pony. And then we have our rare uh, little alpaca. And look at all the colors on this one. This is amazing, right? <clears throat> look at that. And yeah, so let me know what you thought of this video, guys. What, what, what was your favorite? I don't have a favorite. I can't pick a favorite. Oh, if I do have to, I'm gonna say I'm a little more partial out of the Scruffle Loves of, for the alpaca. Um, I just love the coloring and I'm a, I've always been a fan of llamas and alpacas, as I've said before. For the wacky packages, I would have to say my favorite would be huh, probably the Windax. I think that's pretty funny. And for the toy mini brands, I was pretty excited about the fidget spinner. I'm not gonna pick the uh, gold My Little Pony because obviously that would be an easy one to favor. But uh, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to say the little fidget spinner. I think it's pretty cute. But I don't know, I like the Ninja Tur Turtle too. Oh, I don't know, they're all so cool. What was your favorite? Again, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope to be better next week and not so, um, <clears throat> you know, coughing and everything like that. But I do appreciate you bearing with me as I heal. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Until I see you next time, take care of yourselves and others and stay crafty. <laughs> take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.